Ogaden in the Horn of Africa. A place so little regarded by Europeans it scarcely earns a footnote in the history of their empire. When war broke out in the Ogaden, amusement followed in Europe. Where was it? What was it? A desert scrubland. Why kill and be killed for a place like Filto? The answer is simple. For its Somali people, Filto is home. <laughs> Filto lies in the heart of the Sidamo district. Not desert, but rich grazing land for the camels, cattle, and other livestock fundamental to the traditional Somali way of life. Yet, though Somali peopled throughout, it has until recently been ruled by a foreign power, Ethiopia. Until August 1977, when Filto's people, inspired by the now famous Western Somali Liberation Front, rose up to drive the foreigners from their land. In their defeat, the occupation army left little behind them but ruins. The Liberation Front is no new movement in the Ogaden. Only its title is recent. Its fighters and men like them have been resisting foreign domination ever since Ethiopia moved in to colonize the former British protectorate. The British have long gone, and the only Ethiopians left in Filco now are dead. The Ethiopian presence in much of the Ogaden started in the 1890s when Emperor Menelik aligned with Britain, Italy and France to carve the Horn of Africa into colonies and protectorates. Menelik's policy was expansion and his successor's rule in the Ogaden repressive and harsh. <laughs> Filter was, until August the 15th, an Ethiopian garrison town. Strategically located in the highlands, it acted as a military watchdog over activities in the larger community of Negele, 150 kilometers away. Its 1,300 Somali inhabitants were maintained in calculated underdevelopment, dependent for all urgent amenities on distant Negele. Now, free of restraint, they can at last taste self-reliance and develop the land that is rightly theirs. Under Ethiopian rule, Somali emancipation was non-existent. Public meetings of any kind were forbidden. This was the first time in living memory that the people of Filco had gathered openly to discuss their feelings about their own future. What their feelings on winning their freedom are is unmistakable.
Kobe and Ethiopian airbase. Across bridges like this, Ethiopian armor could move swiftly to subdue the surrounding countryside. Godet was a military stronghold, yet it was at Godet that the first encounter, reconstructed here, took place between the army of Ethiopia and the lightly armed but fiercely determined Western Somali Liberation Front. was a complete surprise. Defeated and demoralized, with no stomach to defend a land that wasn't theirs, Ethiopian troops surrendered by the score. What the Liberation Front had won, they were determined to hold. The land was theirs again. Straddling the fertile Shabeli River, Gode looks prosperous with its fine stone rest houses and Christian churches. But no Muslim Somali was offered one of these, only the elite of the ruler's air base. <laughs> Godet was a beacon to the Ogaden. Once lit, it was not to be stamped out. Least of all in the children, to whom freedom gave the promise of growth without fear in a world now based on equality. <laughs> <laughs> 